Hello everyone, this is Shibhi John with you from IELT. Today we are here for discussing few key points which are very necessary for doing uh, OET, part, OET reading for part A. Okay, so let's go in detail for part A. B and C are there but we'll discuss in the further videos. So for part A, which is the important skill which to be used, okay. So the important skill to be used for part A is skimming and scanning and most of the students find it diffi uh, very difficult for doing it. So we have 15 minutes to complete part A and uh, I think usually students are taking more than that to complete it. So we have two options either we'll be going from 1 to 7 of the questions and move on to 8 to 20 as per the same chronology or else we can start from question number 8 and then finish till 20, later go on to 1 to 7. So it's up to students who can uh, try it and check which time, which is which of the option is time saving for them. Okay, let's go in detail for what is skimming and scanning. So skimming is a technique from which we will be identifying the key words or the important words in the passage. As you can see that fractures, dislocation, sprain, immediate management, clinical assessment. So these are something, uh, some of the words which are the key points. If you see, they are in bold letters. These are the headings. You have bullet points. Again, the subheading is there. Okay. So we have a heading over here also, simple fracture of limbs. So this is giving a general idea of the whole passage. Okay. So we can easily understand that part A is discussing about the definitions of few words. Part B is about the immediate management, then it's assessment, then it's again management. Part C, it's talking about some of the dosage chart, okay. And part D is discussing about the technique for plaster. So it's easy that we, by reading the heading, we get an idea. So what we do for the, when the, we have the time started for 15 minutes, what we do initially is we read the sentence either the first sentence of the text and underline the important words secondly if we get an idea directly by underlining the key words in the beginning okay so as for part a the text a i'll be just underlining fractures so i can uh, have an idea that the, it is in detail about the fractures as a dislocation so again it's detailed about dislocation Immediate management, so what is the in initial treatment or initial uh, process to be done? Clinical assessment, so what is the assessment part to be done, okay? So we get an idea just by underlining a one word and we can assume what will be there in the next lines, okay? So this is called skimming. So by this, we are skimming the main important words, okay, which are headings, subheadings or the bullet points or the bold letters, bold words which are mentioned, okay? Now, what is scanning? As we go to the questions, the question is asking procedure for delivering pain relief. So, here it's procedure delivering pain relief. Let's go to the text and the text is showing in part C, drug therapy protocol. So, protocol. So this is giving one idea, so the, some steps to be followed and it's almost the same meaning giving procedure and protocol. So we will be directly moving to part C, text C for the answer and the answer is text C as it's describing in detail about what medicine or what is the dosage to be given for the pain relief. If we go to the second one, it's discussing, discussing about it's asking the procedure to follow the uh, when splinting a fracture limb. So splinting is something uh, which we secure, okay. And text D is discussing about technique for plaster back slab of forearm fracture. So plaster is something to secure a broken bone, okay. So this heading is giving you a same idea, okay. And directly we can go to the answer text D. Let's go to the one more, well, let's take one more sample, okay. Uh, what should be used to elevate a patient's fractured leg, okay. 
So we will be searching these words elevate patient's fractured leg. Let's go to the text. Anything in D for the fractured legs? No, I don't think so. Let's go to C. It's about the dosage chart, so no, it will not be related to that. Anything over here? Yes. So here we can see the word elevate the limb which is similar to the question, right? So same word over here, elevate the limb, a sling for arm injuries, a pillow for leg injuries. Now this is for arm injury, a sling and a pillow is for the leg injury. Let's move on to the question again. Now the question is asking for the leg, right? So the answer is a pillow, okay? Again, let's take one more question. What is the maximum dose of morphine per kilo of the patient's weight that can be given using the intramuscular route? So, as you might remember, the dosage chart is in part C. So, we directly move on to part C and here we get morphine and a dosage chart, okay? A dosage measurement is given. Now, it says 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 milligram per kilogram to a max of 10 mg okay so the question is asking the maximum most of the students make a mistake doing a fast reading ah uh, i got the measurement here over here is 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 i directly take that answer but no they are asking about the maximum range so we will be selecting 0 0.2 milligram per kg okay so this is called scanning now we are scanning the words which are mentioned in the question with the subtext which are given in A, B, C, D, okay. So this will be helping you to find out the answers and complete the question paper within the 15 minutes. I think it will take maximum of 13 minutes if you follow these steps. So skimming and scanning is most important thing when you do the part A. So I hope you get a little bit idea or a picture of uh, skimming and scanning and I hope you can solve the question paper and uh, pass the OET exam. Thank you.